Out of all the perks throughout the zombies history, which perk would you consider to be the most unique? The HD, Electric Cherry, Widow's Wine, all of those perks are unique. I mean, a perk that removes all fall and explosive damage, a perk that stuns zombies by reloading your gun or just getting hit. But out of all the perks, there is one perk that stands out the most. A perk that doesn't have a main ability. A perk that doesn't do anything really good or really bad. But a perk that is able to do many small miscellaneous tasks. Perks like Juggernaut and Quick Revive do their jobs great. And perks like Who's Who and Tombstone does a really bad job on what they're supposed to do. But this one perk, without one main purpose, is a perk known for its uniqueness. And that is Vulture Raid. Vulture Raid is a perk that's only on one map, that map being Buried. And it really fits the map well, as Buried is one of the easiest maps in Zombies. Coming in at number 3 guys, we have Buried. Now before I start like ranting on this map for how easy it is, just keep in mind, I like this map. This is a substantial map. And coming in at number 1 on our list of top 5 easiest maps in Call of Duty Zombies, guys could it be anything else, it's Buried. This map is so easy, I'm pretty sure Helen Keller could make it to round 30. Now, Buried is another one of those maps that come- Buried, I have to disagree, but I mean, with his criteria to round 30, yeah, it's pretty easy. But if we're doing round 100, I'd definitely put Buried a lot lower, considering that you have to use buildables to get the round. Not for a new player though, and reaching round 100 on this map is said to be a challenge. I personally haven't reached round 100 on Buried, so I can't really give an opinion on that though. It's pretty much the sandbox map for zombies, as there's so much you can do on this map. Wanna turn on power first? You can do it from the start. Want to open up the entire map? You can do it from the start. Want to get all the buildables? You can do it from the start. Want to get the worst achievement in the game? You can do it from the start. When you open up to the church area, you can find Vulture Aid in the left corner of the room. It has a unique design for its vending machine, which fits really well with this perk. As it's the most unique perk, Vulture Aid's ability or abilities is the following being able to see every feature of the map through walls kind of like an x-ray vision able to pick up ammo and extra points from killing zombies and being able to be invisible for the zombies for a short amount of time i'm going to go into more of a detailed list this is just more of a summary whenever you unalive a zombie they can drop extra gold and bullets it's not much, roughly 5 to 20 points and 10% of your weapons magazine back. If you don't know how much 5 to 20 points is, in the case you haven't played the game, which why not if you watch this video then, a wall weapon from the starting room, which is the cheapest guns you can buy, they roughly cost around 200 to 500 points. Opening a door or debris usually costs 750 to 1250 points, and a random weapon from the mystery box costs 950 points. Back punching, aka upgrading your guns, costs 5,000 points, and perks can cost somewhere between 500 to 4,000 points. So, as you can see, this ability isn't too useful. Maybe on the lower rounds, but it's buried. You can set up everything on round one if you wanted to. Second ability, and probably the most noticeable one, is the ability to see everything through walls. Perks, mystery box, wall guns, back punch machine. It's pretty much a map feature. It's really useful for newer players who haven't played Buried before, but once you've played Buried enough, this ability becomes pretty obsolete. Don't get me wrong, it's still really cool that we can see where everything is. This can actually be a bit useful because Buried is a large map, and a confusing one at that. When you look at this, you probably think this is the only area, but is this area a mansion, a labyrinth, a lot of tunnels going from A to B to C and so on, and of course the starting room. One thing I think is good with this ability is that if you move far enough away, all the different symbols of perks and such will disappear, which makes it it's easier to focus on the zombies instead of being distracted with all the stuff on screen. Like you can see here in this situation, even though this is Black Ops 3, and as you may recall, Vulture Raid is only on Buried, which is in Black Ops 2, an exclusive map, that doesn't stop modders from bringing perks into newer games. But I won't include custom perks into this analysis, which should be pretty self-explanatory. And the third ability, and probably the most useful one, which is the ability to become invisible for a short amount of time. It's not too often, but some zombies will have this green mist around them. Unaliving them 
will release this green mist. Staying inside this mist will cause the zombies to ignore you or go after other players if you're playing co-op, allowing you to reload, catch your breath or regenerate some health back. This ability is great for camping as there are a few camping spots on this map that does utilize this green mist ability. To be real, this is probably the only reason people buy Vault Trade, unless you're a newbie, and it makes you wonder if this perk would be useful on other maps like Deris or Ascension. Sadly, Vault Trade is only on Buried, and it's likely to stay that way, as Black Ops 2 really liked having perk exclusive maps. And honestly, Vault Trade, it just fits with this old western style map, even though it takes place in Africa. It's such a unique concept. And it's all of these abilities that makes Vulture so unique. And it may be the reason why it's called Vulture Aid. If you didn't know, Vultures, the animal, has great eyesight, which might be the reference to why you're able to see the location of perks, mystery boxes and such. And also, Barret is a wild western type of map, which is located in the south of the United States, and vultures tend to live in those areas. Honestly, every time I play Buried, I always buy Vulture's Aid. I highly doubt we will ever see Vulture again. I think it's going to just be one of those perks that is just going to stay in the past and be a part of the past. It's likely not coming to the next Call of Duty game, it wasn't in Cold War or Black Ops 4, and honestly, I think it's just great that this perk just stays to its own map. It's kinda unique. And there you go, an in-depth analysis of the most unique perk in Zombies. The one perk in Zombies that doesn't have a one main ability, rather small, multiple unique ones. One of them being helpful, some being niche, and others not all too useful. Even though there's more than 4 perks on Berry, you can actually get all the perks on this map by going through the witch's house. Just make sure the lighting in that mansion is on so you can get a free perk. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.